In the vast expanse of the universe, black holes stand as some of the most mysterious and fascinating entities ever theorized by humanity. These cosmic monsters defy our understanding of physics, swallowing everything that dares to come close, even light itself. This invisibility has made black holes notoriously elusive, leaving us to wonder, how do you capture an image of something that cannot be seen? In 2019, the Event Horizon Telescope delivered an answer that astonished the world. For the first time in history, we glimpsed the shadow of a black hole, a glowing halo of light encircling an endless void. But the journey to this groundbreaking image wasn't simple. It was a tale of imagination, collaboration and years of relentless effort. To truly appreciate this achievement, we must explore the challenges, the technology and the human spirit behind this remarkable feat. At its core, a black hole is a region of space where gravity is so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape its pull. These objects are formed when massive stars collapse under their own gravity at the end of their life cycle, creating a singularity, a point where density and gravity becomes infinite. Surrounding this singularity is the event horizon, a boundary that marks the point of no return. Once something crosses this boundary, it is lost forever to the black hole's grasp. This makes black holes inherently invisible. Telescopes, whether optical, infrared or even gamma ray, rely on capturing light to create images. Since black holes emit no light, they remain hidden from direct observation. For decades, black holes existed only as theoretical constructs predicted by Einstein's equations of general relativity. Although indirect evidence, like the unusual motion of stars near an invisible mass in galactic centers, had built up over time, so capturing a direct image of a black hole was a challenge that remained unsolved. But black holes are not completely devoid of detectable clues. They are surrounded by chaotic regions where gravity reigns supreme. These environments hold the secrets we need to see the unseeable. While black holes themselves are invisible, the areas around them often glow brightly. Surrounding many black holes is an accretion disk, a swirling mix of gas, dust and debris. As this material spirals closer to the black hole, it moves faster, gets compressed and heats up to extremely high temperatures. This process causes the disk to emit powerful radiation, including radio waves. This glowing accretion disk offers a crucial clue. The intense gravity of the black hole bends and distorts the light emitted by the disk, creating a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing. This bending effect outlines the event horizon, producing what scientists call the black hole's shadow. By capturing this shadow, we can indirectly visualize the black hole itself. But how do you capture this faint distorted light from millions of light years away? The answer lay in creating a telescope unlike any the world had ever seen, a telescope capable of seeing the invisible. Capturing the image of a black hole required resolving details at an unimaginable scale. The black hole targeted for imaging, located in the galaxy M87, lies 55 million light-years from Earth. To see its shadow, scientists needed a telescope with resolution equivalent to reading a newspaper in New York from a cafe in Paris. Such precision requires a telescope as large as the Earth itself. Since building a telescope that size is impossible, Astronomers turned to a technique called Very Long Baseline Interferometry. This method involves using multiple radio telescopes positioned across the globe, all observing the same object at the same time. By combining their data, these telescopes effectively create a virtual Earth-sized telescope. The Event Horizon Telescope, EHT, was born from this concept. It consisted of eight radio observatories scattered around the world from the deserts of Chile to the icy plateau of Antarctica. These telescopes worked in perfect synchrony collecting radio waves emitted by the accretion disk around M87's black hole. 
The locations were chosen to ensure maximum coverage of the sky and precise timing was crucial, requiring atomic clocks accuracy to billionths of a second to synchronize the data collection. The planning of this project was astonishing. Each of the EHT's telescopes collected an enormous amount of data, so much, in fact, that it couldn't be transmitted over the internet. Instead, the data was stored on hard drives and physically transported to processing centers in the United States and Germany. In total, the EHT gathered petabytes of information. But this was only the beginning. The raw data needed to be carefully aligned, calibrated, and pieced together to form a logical image. This process required advanced algorithms and some of the most powerful supercomputers in the world. The sheer volume of data meant that any misstep in synchronization or calibration could lead to inaccurate results. Teams of scientists worked around the clock to ensure that the information collected by the EHT telescopes was both reliable and scientifically valid. The creation of the black hole image was similar to assembling a puzzle with missing pieces. The data collected by the EHT telescopes wasn't a direct photograph, but a series of measurements of radio wave intensities and timings. To transform this data into an image, scientists relied on complex computational models. One of the key contributors was Katie Booman, a young computer scientist who developed a critical algorithm for processing the telescope's data. Her work focused on creating a consistent picture from incomplete and noisy data. Multiple algorithms were run independently to ensure the accuracy of the results, with scientists meticulously cross-checking every detail. After years of work, the moment of truth arrived. On April 10, 2019, the world saw the first ever image of a black hole, a dark, circular shadow surrounded by a glowing ring of light. This wasn't just a scientific milestone, it was a moment of wonder that captured the imagination of people across the globe. The black hole image wasn't just a stunning visual, it was a powerful confirmation of theoretical physics. The size and shape of the shadow-matched predictions made by Einstein's general relativity, reaffirming our understanding of how gravity works on cosmic scales. Beyond validating existing theories, the image provided new insights into the behavior of black holes and their surrounding environments. Scientists could study the accretion disk's dynamics, magnetic fields, and the way matter interacts near the event horizon. These findings have far-reaching implications for our understanding of galaxy formation, cosmic evolution, and even the nature of space and time itself. The success of the EHT's first image is just the beginning. Astronomers are now working to capture more black holes. With advances in technology and additional telescopes joining the EHT network, future images will likely be even more detailed. Moreover, the techniques developed for imaging black holes could have applications far beyond astronomy. From studying other invisible cosmic phenomena to improving communication networks on Earth, the possibilities are vast. The image of the M87 black hole is more than a scientific achievement. It's a testament to human ingenuity and the power of collaboration. Hundreds of scientists from across the globe came together, pushing the boundaries of technology and imagination to achieve what once seemed impossible. Black holes, the ultimate cosmic enigmas, are no longer just theoretical concepts. They are real, observable objects that we can study and understand. In the process, they remind us of the boundless potential of human curiosity and determination. So, what's your take on this incredible achievement? What mysteries do you think the next generation of telescopes will uncover? Share your thoughts in the comments and join the conversation. Let's continue exploring the universe, one discovery at a time.